Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to a Bob's Pro Shot video ball review, and today we're going to take a look at the all new Storm DNA. The Storm DNA has a lot of new things going on with it, so we're going to dive right into it. The cover stock is the Exo Solid Reactive, and what's new with this cover stock is the way that they manipulate the heat that comes from the ball while being produced and the cool down speed. It actually causes the ball to uh, be a lot more porous, so what it's going to do is going to give you more traction, um, see the middle ends a lot better, a lot more porous of a ball. The weight block is the Super Coil Core. Um, with this, they actually cut out um, a piece on the Y axis to maintain dynamic integrity after drilling is what it is listed as. Um, and then factory finish is going to be 2000 grit. Uh, ball is kind of looks like a face two a little bit, uh, but instead of the blue, it's black. Um, obviously, it's a top of the bag type ball. At 15 pounds, this ball has an RG of 247, a diff of 053, and an intermediate diff of 023. So this is a top of the bag type ball. Um, this is going to be compares, comparable to your your realities, your supernovas, gem. Uh, the DNA is going to sit right at the top of the bag with those balls, but it's going to give you a shape that you don't have with the other ones. Um, so in, compa in comparison to, say, the gem, where the gem is so early rolling and very forward on the back end, the DNA, for me, is a little bit cleaner and it hooks a little bit more down lane. Um, so it's almost like a reality, but I would say a step up from a reality. So I think a really good ball to complement the DNA would be something like an absolute to ball down from after the DNA once it gets a little too much. But that being said, uh, the DNA with how clean it is, it still gets through the fronts really well to where I can move left with this ball and it still comes off the spot and it still continues. I never really hit a spot where this ball bails out on me if I'm moving left and chasing it left. Um, manipulating your hand position, getting the ball off the spot a little bit better. Uh, it, the DNA never quits. It never makes it to that point where it won't get up the hill kind of thing. Um, it's definitely a strong ball, obviously. Um, and I think comparison to like the Supernova, where the Supernova is very rolly, um, I can't really get in with the Supernova because it sees it too early and then it's flat. Uh, you know, two eight tens never makes it back up. Where the DNA is going to see it a little bit better on the back end, and it's going to make it up the hill, and you're going to get a good shot. You're going to make it to the pocket, and then your leaves not going to be a two eight ten. It may be a flat ten where you just change your hand position or something like that. I've thrown this ball for about a week and a half now, maybe two weeks, and I have fallen completely in love with this ball. So as you guys know, we do bowl in some very high friction centers, um, one of those centers being wood, and this ball for me has matched up at both centers significantly well. Um, it never gives up. I can actually really close down my angles and throw it as hard as I want, kind of up 10, up 5, and the ball's going to make it up. And then when I need to move in, I can obviously move in with this ball too. Um, but this ball just gives me a lot of versatility. And I had mentioned to one of the other guys in the shop that it reminded me of like an asymmetrical phase two. Um, uh, maybe the appeal looks at it, but the way that the DNA sees the lane is very comparable to how my phase two sees the lane in where they see the lane and the shape down lane. Just the DNA is that, you know, next two steps up. It's that much of a stronger ball, but it is very relatable to a phase two. I absolutely think that they hit a home run with this ball. I think you're going to see this one around for a long time. I think the new cover stock is an awesome formula. Um, it's super clean and it still gives me angle down lane. And like I said, I, it, it's a ball that matches up with myself very well. For speed dominant bowlers, I feel like the DNA is going to be a great option too. Uh, then just your regular bowler, your house shot bowler that needs something in those you know centers where there's not that much friction and you need that big strong asymmetrical piece i think the dna is going to be exactly what you're looking for thanks for tuning in to another bob's pro shot video ball review if you can take a chance to like us on facebook and subscribe to the youtube and instagram channels so you can stay up to date with all of our videos thanks have a great day